We're uh, moving forward with this project and uh, what we've done is we've done a lot of little things. Again, we're doing a lot of engine work over the next few days or week or so and the engine work consists of installing this AXT turbo. And if you'd watched one of the prior videos, you're going to find that this turbo has been spun around, so to speak. We've spun it about 180 degrees around in order that we're able to route the cooler component of it. And um, what we're, what we're going to do and what we have on order are some extra hoses. Now, it does come with these hoses, uh, these silicone hoses and these um, cast aluminum type hoses. But what we're doing is we're ordering up uh, some other hoses because we're going to customize the routing. The routing will come out, go back, go up and around, and then come over here and go into, uh, this shouldn't be here, and go into this intake. So it's going to come in that fashion around. And it's easier than going over. And the reason why we're not going over is because we have this fairly substantial, if I can walk over and grab this, um, piece to put in and I think I've shown this before in the video but this is the fairly substantial piece and it's all honeycomb through there and this is the cooling component this is what cools the uh, air the intercooler part air going into the intake from that turbocharger and um, that's really important it's not going to fit here because we wouldn't have enough room to fit it there so we're going to fit it sort of back there in a, in a slight angle going over into the intake now, what's interesting about the intercooler of this AXT is that it has its own cooling system. Here's the cooling system, and we've located it right here next to the brake booster. This is the intake part of the engine, so there's not a lot of heat being thrown off. The exhaust is on the other side. This is the intake. Here's our cooling system that we've shown before, and here's the um, filler area and bleed-off area. And we've made this little bracket, as you can see, it's sort of down there, and it mounts right on the side of the fender well. It'll grab air or push air out of this and up top, out of this louver on the side I should say, and then up top over here it'll pull the air out of these louvers. So it's kind of a uh, sort of an ingenious spot to locate it and it's one of the very few spots that we could locate it. And it's going to be nice and safe and dry and clean. Uh, this fan, this electric fan will work with it also. So we've done that and uh, we're still waiting. The radiator folks are working on the radiator. That'll be done Monday, so that's going to be a quick turnaround. And uh, we're working on some other um, parts to come in. I do believe an edict is coming in, an uh, electric edict that will allow this engine to run. So we've got a lot of things that we've done and completed and, uh, you know, are working on. But uh, the systems seem to be coming together. Uh, also coming will be a spare fuel tank as well as a roof rack. And the roof rack will house our uh, Maggioli or Maggioli tent from Italy as it sits right here actually waiting to go in. So we're all set there. Things are looking good. Uh, oh, one of the other things that we are going to be altering, see right here? This is where they dump the exhaust out, which is to us just a terrible situation. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to stick it on the inside of the frame rail. So we're going to custom bend this pipe that comes down and make it so it goes on in the inside of the frame rail. Uh, much more uh, protective, cleaner, neater, all that stuff. So there's going to be some customization with that, which is not a, not a big deal for us. So, hope you enjoy the video and uh, enjoy watching it. Thanks.